Mother's Day is one of those times when flowers say it best. And as Connor Knighton tells us, tulips make quite a statement. Each year, these fields of flowers spring to life in row after row of vibrant, carefully coordinated colors. This annual bloom attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists who come to tiptoe through the tulips, posing for photos that some friends assume required a passport. They think I went all the way to the Netherlands. I'm like, no, I just took a quick flight up to Washington. Washington's Skagit Valley in the northwest corner of the state is home to the annual Tulip Festival. All right, guys, look at us. Look off. A celebration of a flower best known for being grown nearly 5,000 miles away. The area is much like Holland. Climate-wise, is extremely similar. They have the North Sea, we have the Puget Sound, so we never get too hot, too cold, which produces really big, vibrant, beautiful tulips. Brent Rusin comes from a long line of tulip growers. His family runs Rusengard, the largest display of tulips in the area. Here we have tens of millions of bulbs. Tens planted. of millions? And you redo that every year? Yep. Dig them up, replant them every year. A real Dutchman here. Bill Rusin. Prince grandfather Bill and grandmother Helen immigrated from the Netherlands to the Pacific Northwest in 1947. Farther west and more farther west and all the big lights disappeared and I thought, oh my gosh, don't tell me if I'm going to live on a farm. I could have stayed in Holland and live on the farm. But the Rusins planted roots in Washington. Ten children and 36 grandchildren later, the small flower farm they purchased has blossomed into quite a family business with relatives working everywhere from the gift shop to the corner office. That's not a field tulip, that's a greenhouse tulip. Today, their Washington bulb company is the largest grower of tulips in the country. And as popular as the display garden is, most of the action happens out of sight. This x-rays them and it tells the machine where the flower is so it puts it at the right level so they're even. Richard Rusin works on the greenhouse side of the business, where boxes of bulbs and bunches of flowers are shipped out all across the country. This logo here I feel like I recognize. Is this Safeway? Yes. I knew I've seen that in the grocery store. From big supermarkets to small local florists, the tulip trade kicks into high gear in spring. Mother's Day is by large our biggest shipping holiday for tulips. It's not even close. Leading up to Mother's Day, the Rusins ship out more than 3 million cut flowers a week, including plenty to customers who are cutting it close. It's a huge spike at the very last minute. That makes me feel better. Everyone else is doing that too? Trust me. <laughs> I wish you didn't, but everyone does it, so it is, you are not alone. The tulip symbolizes new life. You'll see plenty of mothers-to-be in the fields. But to ensure the best bulbs for next year, Growers generally have to top their outdoor tulips before Mother's Day. You want to leave as much green on the plant as possible and you just bend oh, and snap it. Heart. So all the energy is now going to the bulb for growth. It allows the bulb to grow bigger in size. Bigger bulbs mean a bigger bloom next spring. With tulips, it's all about planning ahead. And for those of you who might not be the best at planning ahead, well, there's always tomorrow. Is there an after Mother's Day spike for the people who forgot? We noticed maybe the order total is maybe a little bit higher for those after Mother's Day ones where it's like, hey, I better, <laughs> really gotta overdo yeah, it. I better throw in an extra bunch or two here because I'm making up <laughs> for it now.